Hey friends, today we are cracking a massive military secret. Imagine a super advanced American drone falling right into Iran's hands. The Yasser UAV is that mysterious bird born from captured tech. So stay tuned to see what this Iranian copy can actually do. The story starts in 2012, when the IRGC caught a scan eagle. Iranian engineers immediately went to work to reverse engineer the prize. The result of their hard work was the Yasser, unveiled in 2013. This drone was built specifically for the Army Ground Force's eyes. You might not believe it, but Yasser is a precise copy. The main goal was to have a compact bird for tactical spying. Its small size and stealth make it perfect for watching borders. It is like sending an invisible spy deep into enemy lines. Let's look at the build. The body is made of composites. It is about one meter long with a three meter wingspan. Just imagine how easily a bird this size can hide anywhere. The total takeoff weight is estimated to be around 20 kilograms. A cool design feature is its weird twin boom tail structure. Unlike the American model, Yasser has an inverted V-tail design here. This change in design helps with better flight stability and control. It looks like the US Shadow drone showing some local creativity. Inside the nose sits a small piston engine that is quiet. It likely uses gasoline and has a two-blade propeller pushing it. This simple engine makes it very hard for radars to spot. It is like a silent ghost in the sky doing work. Interesting fact, Yasser does not need a long runway to fly. It gets shot into the sky using a pneumatic launcher rail. This means they can launch it from deserts or mountains fast. The operational flexibility really gives commanders a free hand in battle. You might ask, how does it land? That's a cool story. This drone has no wheels and uses a parachute for landing. When the mission ends, the chute opens and it lands softly. This system prevents damage and lets them use it many times. A two-man team controls this bird from a portable ground station. One pilot outside triggers the launcher, one inside flies the drone. It also has an autopilot system making life easier for operators. Everything is under control, sending live feeds back to the base. Don't underestimate this little guy. It flies up to 200 kilometers. That means it can penetrate deep into enemy soil for intel. Army officials say this range is perfect for regional tactical coverage. With this range, no movement near the border stays hidden from us. Yasser can stay in the sky for long hours without tiring. Its flight endurance is between 8 to 10 hours, which is great. Some sources even say it can loiter for up to 20 hours. That's a pair of awake eyes watching the enemy all day. Its flight altitude reaches about 4,500 meters high. At this height, it's safe from small arms fire below. It can watch everything from above just like a hunting eagle. Reaching this ceiling is a masterpiece for a drone this light. Under its belly, there's a turret camera spinning 360 degrees. These cameras have day vision and night vision capabilities for darkness. They have amazing zoom power, magnifying images 40 times for clarity. So no blind spots remain, capturing every detail with high precision. Because of its composite body and small size, radar reflection is very low. Enemy radars have a very hard time spotting this bird flying. This relative stealth is Yasser's ace card in dangerous spy missions. It goes, takes photos, and returns before anyone knows what happened. But Yasser is not just a photographer. It has a scary side, too. The Army announced this drone can act like a small cruise missile. It gets packed with explosives and smashes itself right into targets. This capability turns Yasser from a simple spy into a soldier. In the battlefield, information is king, and Yasser is the master. Ground forces use its live images to aim their artillery fire. This means precise targeting and no wasted ammo in critical fights. Yasser has become the eyes for artillery and rapid reaction units. It's interesting to know this drone is waterproof and sea-ready. It has been used many times to track foreign warships nearby. The high-quality images of ships show that no traffic is hidden. The security of southern waters is guaranteed by these little birds. It first showed off its skills in the 2015 Army drills. It flew alongside the Mahajir drone to spot the mock enemy. 
Since then, it's a regular guest in all Army exercises. These drills have made the operators very skilled at controlling it. Yasser's story is not limited to Iran. It traveled the region. Reports say it was seen fighting in Iraq and also Syria. Resistance forces used versions of this drone to spy on ISIS. It seems Yasser passed its test in real wars with success. Western sources claim Hezbollah in Lebanon also got this technology too. Likely the tech or the drone reached Iran's allies in the region. This means the resistance drone network is now stronger and more modern. The spread of this drone shows how effective and popular it is. Iran even gave this drone as a gift to Russia once. The Russian Air Force commander received a sample Yasser back in 2013. It was also proudly displayed at international air shows like Russia's MAX. This shows Iran is confident enough to export its technology. To wrap up, its biggest pro is being cheap and simple. It folds up, fits in a suitcase, and is ready fast. For countries with smaller military budgets, it's a fantastic option. This drone proved you don't always need the most expensive weapon. Of course, every weapon has weaknesses, and Yasser is no exception. It can't carry heavy bombs and has less destructive power overall. Its range is limited compared to giant drones like Shahed 129, but in its own class and for short missions, it rules. Compared to foreign models, Yasser is a smart, localized, reverse-engineered copy. It might not beat expensive Israeli tech, but it gets results. In asymmetric warfare, these small tools can change the war's fate. Yasser symbolizes Iranian engineering power in copying and upgrading weapon systems. Well, friends, we reached the end of our Yasser drone review. We saw how an aerial catch became a pillar of intel. Let me know in the comments, can Yasser be upgraded further? Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.